All right, this is your man, Coach Asher, who makes you faster. And today we're going to talk about race modeling for the 200 meters. We're going to talk about becoming a better 200 meter runner and one of the key workouts that I do in training for the 200 meters. So, so there's a lot of workouts. We've talked about workouts. You got to get fast. You got to get explosive. You got to do bounding. You got to do all this. But one of the key workouts for 200 meter runners and run, running fast in that distance, because a lot of you guys are like, Coach, what are, what's a good workout for 200 meters? What do we do? How do we do this? 150s okay and you start the 150s in the middle of the turn and you run off the turn into the straightaway when we're doing 150s we're talking about three by 150 to five by 150 i never have athletes do more than five 150s i usually use three when we're doing end of the season peaking okay if i'm two weeks before nationals three weeks before nationals or olympic trials something like that state meet we're going three 150s full recovery okay Earlier in the season, we're doing more 150s, maybe about five, but like I said, with shorter recovery. So why is this a great workout, okay? Well, number one is 150. It's close to the distance, but not quite the race distance. So you can run at it really fast at 100%, and you can focus on speed endurance, okay? You can work on your speed endurance by running the 150s, okay? Secondly, you work on coming up the turn and transitioning into the straightaway, the slingshot we talked about in the other videos. So because you are doing that, you get used to coming up the turn and straight away so much that you kind of master it in the race, okay? So it's repetition. So you really learn to transition from the turn, slingshotting into the straightaway. Also the 150, because you're only going 150, you work from that turn into the straightaway, you work on finishing. You work on finishing, okay? So you work on finishing the, the whole 100, okay? So because of those reasons, 150s are a key workout. So in the earlier part of the season you want to run the 150s fast you always want to run them fast and spikes but you want to run them fast with shorter rests as you're getting to the long, to the end of the season as you're peaking or if it's a big meet and you're trying to load up for that meet for indoors or something or multi peaking you got several peaks at that point you want to run 200s all out 90 percent to 100 percent with long recovery okay so you want 10 15 minutes recovery in between those okay by doing that you're going to run them at optimum level speed and you'll be able to run them really fast for two to three reps because you got full rest and then that'll carry over to your race okay so thumbs up subscribe i'll talk to you next week